So Abram was very rich. He had his external life pretty well taken care of. And the Lord had come to him and given him all these promises of, I will be with you. I will give you what you want. And Abram says, all right, but, but Lord, I don't have what I really want. I don't have any children. Abram was an old man. He was probably, probably thought he was too old to have children. And he was saying, yeah, I've got all this stuff, but when I die, it's all going to go to the steward of my house, Eliezer. That, was, that must have been how it worked in those days, that the steward or the head servant would inherit everything if there were no children. Abram was saying, nothing, nothing that comes from me is going to last. This household, this family that I've built, it's not going to last. I don't have any children. And then the Lord said to him, go out and look at the stars. Count the stars if you are able to count them. Who here has ever tried counting stars? Sometimes in Toronto you really can because there's all of the light from the street lights it makes it harder to see the stars. So you only see a dozen, a couple dozen. But who here has been someplace way away from any city when there's no ambient light, no light from street lights or houses, pitch black, clear sky? Who's looked up at the stars on a night like that? Yeah. It's incredible, isn't it? We tried counting the stars then. The best illustration would be to have this church service outdoors at nighttime in a clear place, but this is a little bit of an idea of a clear night sky, all the stars. Anyone want to try counting all the little stars in this picture? And of course, the real night sky is so much bigger than this, and you can sort of keep seeing more stars the more closely you look. And, and you know, we know from science that if you get a telescope and look at an area that seems kind of black on the picture, it'll be full of more stars. And if you get a bigger telescope, you'll see more stars. It's just unbelievable how huge the heavens are and how many stars there are. So the Lord told Abram to look at the sky and what was the point of doing that? What was he saying? Good. Yeah? You're going to have that many descendants. You're going to have that many children or grandchildren or great, great, great grandchildren. That must have kind of seemed impossible because there Abram was, an old man with no children. But if you follow the story, Abram had Isaac, and Isaac had Jacob, and Jacob had 12 children, and they all had lots of children. And so before long, the people who came from Abram's family were an entire nation all to themselves. And the Lord's promise really did come true. But So, so the Lord did do what he said, but... Is the Lord really trying to say that Abram had exactly as many children as there are stars? Or that it actually matters whether he did or didn't? Is the Lord talking about just something as simple as having children? Really what the Lord is talking about when he says, look at the stars, count them if you can, so will your seed be. He's saying, that's how many blessings I plan to give you. It's wonderful to know that the Lord wants to give us that many bless blessings, that he promises us that many blessings. 
And a lot of the time we can look at that picture of everything the Lord says he's going to do for us, all of the different things we said in the recitation, that the Lord will look after us, he'll protect us, he'll give us an abundance of good things in the world around us, and so many more spiritual gifts. The Lord will do all those things. We look at that and we say, okay, that's great, but my life, my life right now, it's, I guess it's mostly okay. You know, I, I feel fine, but I don't really have what I want. I mean, maybe. You know, th think about the ways we talk about ourselves when people ask how we're doing. Oh, I'm fine. Can't complain. Maybe that's like Abram saying, yeah, I've got all this great stuff, but, but you know, the guy who's going to inherit from me is the servant of mine. It's not really my child. It's, it's not really what I wanted. It's not really the dream I had. It's not, it doesn't feel like I'm really getting all those blessings. There's some stuff that makes me happy, sure, but a whole heaven full of blessings? It's hard to believe, isn't it? It's hard to believe that the Lord really means that each one of us be blessed with as many good things as that heaven full of stars going on and on forever. And that's the Lord's call to us and that's his promise. Look up. Count the stars if you are able to count them. And it starts a little bit at a time, right? Abram didn't have thousands of children. He actually had one son. But it starts from there. And then it multiplies slowly over time. The Lord will give us heavenly blessings, heavenly joys that are just unbelievable. Just as awesome as that night sky full of stars. Look up and count the stars if you are able to count them. And think about how much more than that the Lord means to give you. Amen.